Hello guys and welcome back to my vlog. Today I'm going to tell you a story about this really good friend of mine who resigned from the UN to start a great trip around the world. Uh, it's been a long time since the last time I was able to travel now with the kids and all it became a bit hard so I think I'm gonna what do I call this I'm gonna remote a travel vlog about a friend of mine his name is Tom he used to work here at the UN with me he resigned to live for a trip a two years trip around the world starting from South America and going north then up to the United States some Canada and then flying to China his plan is to become a teacher uh, an English teacher in China I mean I really appreciate him and there's a part of me who's jealous about him he has a blog uh, me not lost uh, com. you'll find some other description uh, down below right now he's in uh, Brazil he finished a two-month trip on the Amazonas River and he was sending me uh, messages and, and videos and I thought it was a good idea to give you the point where he's at. What really impressed me about the videos he was sending me and what made me decide to do a short video on him was the way that people actually live in these small villages along the river and the way kids are grown up fast, they drive boats and they actually risk their lives. I really tried my best to convince him to show himself on video but didn't manage to. So then he sent me some videos just like shooting of outside and I said okay do me some audio talking about your adventure and that was a hustle as well. Alright others, here we go. I'm gonna try and uh, get you some sound even though you know I hate it but alright. So. <laughs> okay guys, intro and then enjoy these three minutes of his adventure. Three, two, one, here we go. The boat trip started in Berlin and went up to Manaus and then from Manaus it went up a side river this uh, just mentioned River Madeira to end up here near the Bolivian border in Porto Bello it's been more than two and a half thousand kilometers and it took about two months uh, the reason for the two months is because I stopped off quite frequently. Uh, I usually did a boat trip of about two days and then stopped in the town, had a look around that town and then got back on the boat and uh, went to the next town. Cabeleira de chuva, olhos de neve, Maria silêncios farrapada, espanta, sempre aguardando pela noite as barcas, com angulha fala com olhar, das Maria noturna no peirão que esperas, pelo dia não vivas, nasce a escada só por, cais a primeira estrela, nasce a escada só por. Sometimes uh, it happens that uh, children have little canoes, motorized canoes, and they chase a big boat and then uh, hook their boat up to the big ship and climb on and trying to sell stuff to the people on the boat. Uh, usually it's palmitos and uh, acai, which is one of uh, the local fruits, which tastes fantastic in ice cream, but by itself it's revolting. These children turn up in their little canoes and um, they don't care about the dangers because if you do fall in the water uh, while trying to board uh, the big ship uh, you get sucked up into the propellers at the back and uh, be shredded to pieces so it's a bit of a death-defying experiment uh, what these kids are doing but they're doing it every day and trying to get some money and quite often uh, 
what they're more interested in is paper and pens because that's apparently something very difficult to come by. Once they're done, then they go back on their boat and disappear somewhere in the jungle. Uh, I have no idea where they're going. Very religious, very, very, very religious. Uh, uh, the people on the boat usually every morning start reading the Bible. That seems to be a local habit. Uh, okay, no comment on that one. I probably forgot lots of stuff, but um, that's it, yeah. Okay, all right for now, bye. That was all for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Tom is gonna update his adventure on his, uh, on his blog. Go visit him, uh, menotlost.com, you'll find the link in the description. He would appreciate that. He's a bit shy, but he's a, he's a crazy dude and he's a really good boy. Boy, I mean, he's nearly 60. But we all love Tom here at the base and we miss him a lot. So smash the like button if you did guys, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video.